Hi, Virgo. Welcome back to Virgo Speaks Tarot. I'm Shawnee. Welcome, welcome to the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys, my lovelies. Virgo, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing Sunday today. I hope you're feeling blessed and loved. If no one ever told you they love you today, I love you guys. I hope you're doing awesome. I hope I can help raise your vibration if needed. All right. So, guys, let's get into your daily message for today, Sunday. Let's see what the energy is, what spirit message is for you for Virgo. Woo. So, we have a message that came out really quickly. I feel like this message came out before. Um, it could have been on this channel or my other channel. You guys can check out Intuitive Spiritual Messages 333. And also, I have another channel, Sweet Tea Tarot. All of that information will be in the description box below. But Virgo, we have Metal Monkey Let Go of Control number 57. Let go of control. It's almost like go with the flow of the season. Go with the flow of the season. Um, Because I'm getting like fall vibes if you live in the the part of the world where there's seasons. Um, I'm getting like fall, okay? So go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have fire pig. Raise your frequency. Mm -hmm. I was feeling this energy about raising your vibes, raising your frequency. This is totally on point number 24. And then the last message, focus on your vision. Wow. Focus on your vision. Very beautiful cards. Okay. I love the message, Virgo. All right, guys, so let's see how these messages connects with the rest of the reading, all right? Beautiful. I love it already, Virgo. Let go of control, raise your frequency, and focus on your vision. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross spread. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. What is Virgo's current state? And what are the tensions, obstacles, challenges, additional like energies, anything that is creating tension? Um, show me what is the current seven of coins. So this is like a pending um, this is like pending abundance. This is like waiting for that moment where you are, you know, enjoying the fruits, receiving the fruits of your labor. All right. So let's take a look here. For Virgo coming out. What is crossing? What is the tension? What is the tension here with the seven of coins? So we have Six of Cups, Cherished Memories. Um, the Six of Cups could be nostalgia, reminiscing on something you once had, okay? So there could be a lot of tension going on right now, Virgo. For some of you, this could be just a scenario of losing a job. You know, you're trying to, you know, you may have found a new job and you're just waiting for the payday. You may be waiting for... Um, to really see the money come in. For some of you, um, you may be having flashbacks of times when you, you know, were living really good. You have memories, pictures of vacations, going on trips, spending money, um, especially um, I'm getting the vibe of last year. Um, you may have, you know, been going through old pictures of last Christmas, last holidays where you just felt more fruitful. All right, so that's what I'm picking up so far. You guys are like waiting. Even though in this deck, fruits of your labor, um, it's like you're, you're ready to receive it is what I'm picking up here. Because with the seven of pentacles, this can represent pending, waiting. All right, so I feel like you guys are just like, you know, having like, you know, just some random nostalgia energy where you're just remembering when times were so good. All right, so let's see what else. 
What is the subconscious influence or foundation for Virgo? Okay. So we have Page of Wands, which is rapid, rapid fire planning. Page of Wands. Okay. So it's like right now I'm picking up an energy that you are building. It's like you are putting together the blueprint of your life, how you want it to be, uh, you know, creating a solid foundation. Um, wow, this is really good energy. <laughs> so right now, you're, I feel like your main focus is to solidify, solidify this solid foundation, okay? And I'm picking up your planning and preparing for that, okay? You could be putting together like, you know, a master plan for you to, um, you know, like what you want in the next five years, how you want your life to be, what needs to be done. Like, this is really good. I feel like you guys are preparing for 2024, putting those plans together, planting those seeds. Okay. Yeah. I'm loving this energy for Virgo. What is the past influence? Uh, that's affecting the present, past influences on the present, okay, Knight of Wands, fearless action, okay, so I feel like Virgo, I feel like in the past, what got you here, what got you at this present energy of just ready to start putting together you know, making the blueprint, putting together the plans, because there's some sort of action you took, some sort of fearless action you took in the past, okay? Again, this could be leaving a job, deciding that, you know, you deserve more. This could be, you know, moving on uh, from a situation that wasn't serving you. You took, this This was fearless. This was courageous, this was brave, all right? So whatever it was, you got out of there, okay? And because of that, now you're able to plan and really, like, create your life, how you want things to be in the next 10 years, the next five years. This is what you're working on. This is big. I'm loving it. And I do see in the past you did let go of control, all right. It's like whatever wasn't working for you, you decided to let it go with this raised frequency. You're able to tune in to what exactly you really want to focus on. All right. And for some of you, it's just straight up building a solid foundation. OK, making sure your future is good. All right. I'm loving this energy. I am loving the vibes. All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so let's see. What are the aspirations for Virgo? Considerations and aspirations. Yes, absolutely. Of course, Virgo. We have the Ace of Coins. This is what drives you. This is the fuel. All right. This is the ultimate goal is for you to live abundantly. This is new abundance. So this is what is making you work so hard. This is what gives you the, the pleasure and the excitement to go after what it is that you desire because of your desire to be abundant, to live abundantly. And I'm also getting, I don't know, I'm just hearing like a very serene, very, um, uh, yeah, that's what I was picking up yesterday, a very peaceful abundance. You want life to be peaceful. You want things to be comfortable. You want, yeah, it's like Virgo, you're tired of going through the up and down, you know, uh, you know, like for some of you, you just want things to be stable. You want things to be good. You want to know that things are all right, you know, for your fa your family, your future. So you're working hard right now, creating that, that's that 
strong stability here. And this is what's coming in. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity. This is new abundance. All right. So this is a gift from God. All right. So, wow. <laughs> I did not expect the Ace of Pentacles here. This is what you desire. This is what you truly want. This is what gets you um, up and, you know, motivated. This is what has been your fuel the entire time, all right, is to have that ultimate financial freedom. All right, so let's see for Virgo, please. What is coming in the near future for Virgo? What does Virgo need to see in the near future? What's coming in the near future? We have a card on the floor. Three of Cups. Wow. A very gleeful celebration, of Virgo. So this is what's coming in the near future, guys. Let me know in the comment box below if you like this Celtic spread. I will definitely be doing it more uh, frequently. Guys, if you're feeling this new Celtic spread, all right? Now, Virgo, in the near future, there is nothing but celebrations, guys. I feel like you did it. Whatever you are going after, because we do have confirmation of the seven of coins. Okay. For some of you, you could just be in your feelings, you know, remembering, um, um, for some of you, you, this is just cherished memories. You know, you may have, you know, you may miss your family over the holiday. This is holiday time. For some of you, this could just be what's on your mind, what's worrying you, um, what's creating tension. For some of you, you could just be missing your loved ones, okay, the Six of Cups. Um, but what I'm picking up here, your current energy is the Seven of Coins. This is receiving, okay? This is receiving that golden egg. And I feel like what this is saying is that Ace of Pentacles. This golden egg that you're receiving, your current energy that you are, you're ready to receive, this golden egg. And this is what's coming in. That's what's coming in. And that's what's going to create this celebration. All right. So you guys, what you've been waiting for, okay, just to see more money coming in, you know, just to feel like things are more stable. Um, for some of you, you're waiting for a specific amount of money that's old to you, or, you know, you could be waiting for your financial windfall, your blessing that's coming in that you intuitively feel connected to. That's what's coming in. And I feel like what I was seeing is, it's something about you focusing on your vision. Yeah, like a tunnel vision. Staying focused is key for some of you. I needed to say that. Staying focused is key. But I do see a celebration in the near future. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this golden egg that's coming in. This money. All right. Wow. This is big, big, big. Okay. So for Virgo. So Virgo, let's see how... Let's see how you see yourself at this time, Virgo. And what qualities you bring to this situation. How does Virgo see themselves? Or the qualities, okay? All right, Virgo, so you feel like it's a match made in heaven. All right, we have the two of cups. This could be a dream job. All right, Virgo. So that's what I'm picking up. Wow, this is big. Let me move this over a little bit. So this is big. You, at this time, you see yourself in a perfect partnership. Okay, so you could be working with your partner. You could be working with the perfect company. 
all right? Working with the perfect team of colleagues, all right? Whatever it is, it's a perfect match, all right, Virgo? This is how you see yourself, your qualities, your abilities, what you bring to the table, your experience. It's a perfect match for this job, this company, this business, okay? You bring a lot to the table, Wow, I'm loving it. Let me move this card where you can see it. All right, so Virgo, what are what are the environmental and social influences surrounding Virgo? We got two cards. So we got five of wands and a queen of swords. Uh, so this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Okay, so we have a Queen of Swords air energy. Um, it's a female energy, um, but it could be masculine. Take it as it resonates. There's no gender in tarot, but this is a feminine energy, the Queen of Swords. Five of Wands, um, frictional conflict. So for some of you, what could be influencing you right now to want to make a change Okay, in your life to really start putting a lot of focus on what it is you want to bring into your future. Okay, for some of you, you could be missing this person. This Queen of Swords could be a mother. Okay, this could be your sister. All right, this could be, um, take it as it resonates, but this is someone of authority, someone of intelligence. All right. So this queen of swords, you may have gotten into it with. Okay. This is a strategist, a perfect, a, a person who they may think they're perfect, <laughs> but this person strategizes. Okay. So let's see what this energy is. So this person has influenced you. I'm not sure if you and this person ideas have clashed Okay, but there is a queen of swords here that may want the best for you or may want you to do something else or have tried to influence you in some kind of way. This is a general reading. Take it as it resonates. But I do see that there was some sort of conflict here. All right. Hmm. This could be someone at your job as well. Someone who sees that you may be trying to take their position of authority or power as well. There was some sort of conflict here or that's what's what's happening here. All right, wow. So I'm not, you guys, you will know who this person is that has been, you know, this, this conflict that you have with this person. All right, you may know who this is. They may feel like they're better than everyone else or smarter than everyone else. Um, but there's somebody here who doesn't want to be challenged. Okay. And how is this person affecting Virgo? How is this, this conflict with this queen of swords affecting Virgo or how will it affect Virgo? This queen of swords and the five of wands, please. Okay, so we have the three of coins. Okay, so this could be definitely in the workplace. All right, so the three of coins is about building a foundation. This is about you entering a company and starting a new job, okay? Climbing the, the ladder of success, okay? This could definitely be, you know, um, someone who is ready to take on challenges. I feel like this person can really like, if they really like, for example, say this is you Virgo, this is your energy, the pinnacles, the three of pinnacles. This is like the energy, energy of, if you're given the right training, if you're given the right support, you can climb your way high you know, to the top in this company. It's the perfect match for you. And I feel like somebody is bothered by that. This queen of swords, this could be a manager, a director. Somebody feels like you're going to step on their toes. 
All right. So be careful of this energy. All right. This could have happened before. This is an influence here that you may experience, Virgo. Yeah. Yeah. But this person, I feel like they're not going to be able to knock you down off your ladder of climbing, of building. Okay. Because I feel like Let's see. Let's keep looking because, yeah, here's the devil card. Um, so, yeah, I feel like this person, whatever they in, their intentions are to cause conflict with you, it's not going to work. Actually, it's going to do nothing but help you build a stronger foundation with the company. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. What is the hopes and fears? What are Virgo's hopes and fears, please? Virgo's hopes and fears. I feel like Virgo, we have the page of cups. This is excitement, new excitement. All right. This is everything you're doing here is new. All right. As you can see, the baby represents new and there's a child here. The three of cups. You know, because this is a this is you starting something new. And I totally got like a child energy here with the page of wands with rapid fire planning. All right. So this is quickly, quickly creating a plan. All right. And it's like going after it, Virgo. So what I feel like your hopes and fears is, is that you may feel like I'm really happy you know, that, you know, I'm really excited about this new opportunity, but for some of you, you may be worried or fearful that you may lose your motivation, okay? Once you get what it is you want, you may feel like you may lose your inspiration or your motivation, okay? So what is the... What is the um, advice for Virgo? What is the advice, Holy Spirit, for Virgo? Yeah. So the advice is, Spirit is saying, let go of control. Raise your frequency, Virgo, and stay focused on your vision. That is your advice when it comes to your fears. Stay focused on your vision, raise your frequency, and let go of control. I feel like with that, just going with the flow, like water, going with the flow is going to help you, okay? Yeah, just go with the flow of things and you'll be all right, yeah. Don't be too focused on controlling the outcome. What is the out likely outcome here for Virgo? What is the likely outcome for Virgo in this situation, in this reading? Virgo, I see you climbing that ladder. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And the card that fell out is the Six of Swords. So this is a... The likely outcome is... Six of Swords, Needed Change. There it is, guys. So the Six of Swords is, it's like being saved. Do you see how the little girl, again, there's a child here representing you transitioning, you moving into something new. Okay, but I want you to know the entire time, Virgo, you are going to be saved. You are going to be secure, protected, is what I wanted to say, from harm. Do you see how there's sharks all in the water as he walks through and keep her above the water? Okay, so Spirit is saying during this transition, you're going to be protected. So that is the likely outcome that you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Just stay focused on your vision, raise your vi frequency, vibration, and let go of control and allow the spiritual help, 
your spiritual helpers to assist. And that's what this reading is all about, Virgo. Your spiritual team sees you in this childlike energy because you're starting something so new. And you're not alone during this process. Okay, Virgo, I'm in love with this reading, guys. I think I'm going to be doing more like this. I want to get your oops, animal spirit oracle. Let me get your animal spirit oracle. The deck fell. Hold on, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and get your animal spirit oracle, Virgo. This was a very powerful message. I'm loving it. All right, so what is Virgo's animal spirit oracle message? Animal spirit for Virgo. We already have a pig, monkey, and this looks like a little rat. All right. So let's see what else comes out for Virgo, please. What is the animal spirit message for Virgo today? What is the animal spirit oracle message for Virgo today, please? Holy Spirit. For Virgo's spiritual growth. 